Last week, Stephen A. Smith decided to take a very direct shot at Jason Whitlock, a former colleague at ESPN, a guy who worked at Fox Sports, and of course is now doing his own thing for the Blaze after a stint at OutKick. Stephen A. Smith clearly has a very big problem with Jason Whitlock. Jason Whitlock responded, but he's not going to be the one to really reveal what problems they do or do not have. It's been very strange. But Stephen A. Smith, once again, decided during a segment of his podcast to take a direct shot at Jason Whitlock. This is from last week. Stephen A. Smith takes veiled shot at Jason Whitlock, fat, no good bastard who I despise. Well, here he is once again. Uh, somebody tagged Roscoe Patterson, tagged Jason Whitlock. Man, Stephen A. Smith was back at it again going at you. What's the history between y'all? I know y'all are on the same age, came up with the media at the same time. I would think y'all would have ran the same circles at one point, especially at ESPN. Let's listen to Stephen A. Smith. When I go at a Dan Levitard, I might not need to do that. When some other colleague get on my nerves, I might not need to go too far. I might not need to respond to the Kwame Browns of the world and stuff like that. I might not need to respond to every little thing. Now, that person I call the fat bastard is the exception. That I'm not backing up from. That fat bastard, I'm just waiting for the moment where he gets my mind in the right place where I want to go nuclear on him. And at that particular moment in time, endorsement de companies and potential endorsement deals and advertisers and sponsors and employers like ESPN or anybody that I'm doing business with down the pike, I would ask them to step aside and grant me this one Mulligan where I unleash on his sorry, no good ass. Now I'm, I'll let the rest play in a second, but the, Stephen A. Smith is the top dog in mainstream sports entertainment on ESPN, the top voice on ESPN. Yet he's always doing shit like this, right? Trying to call out this person or this, I'm going to expose this person. He did the same thing with Terrell Owens not that long ago. And Terrell Owens ended up making him look like a fucking fool because it was all talk. It was all bullshit. Stephen A. Smith ends up looking like a sensitive little bitch. And Jason Whitlock is also calling his bluff. Now, I am interested to know what the issue is. It, it might just be that Jason Whitlock doesn't fall lockstep with every single thing that Stephen A. Smith thinks a black person should also think. Maybe that's the only problem between them, but we'll let this play out. That is the only time that I will ask for that. Any other time, I will do my best to control myself and to reel myself in. Because the bottom line is, when you're doing business, it ain't good business to make bad business. He, he just sounds like a fucking joker. And here, here's Jason Whitlock. St at Stephen A. Smith, you have my permission. What do I need to say to get you in the right frame of mind? Just know, the very people putting a battery in your back are the very people who want me to end you. It's a dirty game. Proceed. The fact that Stephen A. Smith is even discussing Jason Whitlock this much is a win for Jason Whitlock. Undoubtedly, absolutely, at 1,000% is. And if you can't understand that, I don't know what the fuck you're thinking. I personally don't think Stephen A. Smith's going to do any expose or reveal it. The idea that he's like, if, if they let me off my leash, if ESPN lets me go after him, if my sponsors let me go after him, it's just bullshit. It's like, hold me back, bro. Hold me back, bro. That's what's happening right now. I don't know where the vitriol is at, where it came from. I hope, though. I sincerely hope. We find out where some of this drama stems from because the fact that twice in a week, you know, Stephen A. Smith is calling him a fat, no good bastard on his podcast and threatening to expose all this shit. It, it's just cringe. And I love that Jason Whitlock is going to continue to make the most out of it because Stephen A. Smith is giving him that attention. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.